I've tracked down Brittany's signal. Right now, finding her is my highest priority. However, I'm also very concerned that our cosmic drive key is now missing. If I don't find that, the Drake won't be able to fly fast enough to get us back to Kopai. That would be very, very bad. Hello everyone! My name is Cosmic and welcome back to more Pikmin 3. Last episode, we started off this journey and found Alf, who then found Red Pikamin and Lirit Oyon, and then found the SS Drake. And in this episode, we're going to get straight into it with landing in the Garden of Hope. Brittany should be around here somewhere. We're running out of food, so I'd better find her before it's too late. Welcome to day two. Immediately at the top, you will notice a day timer where the sun will procedurally move from the left to the right. That counts how much time you have left in the day. Make sure that you have all of your Pikmin before the day ends. That's all I'm going to say right now. Anyways, it looks like the onion has followed me here. So where are the Pikmin? <laughs> well, you see, Elf, the onion is like a nest for the Pikmin. It both gives them shelter and provides them warmth. <laughs> Anyways, let's drag out all 21 of our Pikmin. Oh, that's right. The data file I found explained all this. The onion is the Pikmin's nest. Exactly! The press A under the onion to take out or return Pikmin. You can do that at any time of the day, but right now we're going to worry about the mobile phone app being added into our, into our, uh, into our co-pad. I'm going to install an application on the co-pad that lets me check the Pikmin status remotely. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh my god, no! I hate mobile apps. Pikmin info. Now, before we do anything else, I actually do want to show off the uh, Pikmin info. This shows your squad, your Pikmin that are working, and your Pikmin that are just sexily posing on the field. You can see that there's a graph for the number of Pikmin in the onion, and there's a graph for the amount of Pikmin in the field as well. And I love that. It's very helpful for new time people or newcomers to the series. I'm not going to be using it personally, but the option is there. Right, so starting off, this butterfly flying around is known as a white spectralid. It is completely harmless and can give you one Pikmin. This bri this dirt wall is a dirt wall. I don't know what else you want me to say about it. Anyways, let's grab this Pikmin, let's get this data file, and let's kill this dwarf Bulbor, which is a member of the Grub Dog family. It can eat a Pikmin. It's the first fatal enemy, as I'll call them, in this game that you will come across. And it can be very easily dealt with if you hit it on the head with an instant kill move. We're going to get these pellet posies. And we're just going to focus on building the bridge all the way over there to where that scarier enemy is. And I'm going to explain stuff about that enemy when we get to that enemy. Get the pellet posy. Get the data file. And get all of the bridge pieces and have all of them swarm around me when they aren't working. Good for us. Over here we have an egg with stuff called nectar in. Let's wait for the Pikmin to absorb it in and get the flower. A flower bloomed on that Pikmin's head. It's amazing how many plant-like qualities they possess. I wonder if they develop any new skills with that flower. I'll have to keep a close eye on them. When Pikmin consume nectar, they blossom into flower Pikmin. Now I can explain the life stages of Pikmin. So, Pikmin have three life stages. Leaf, Bud and Flower Pikmin. Leaf Pikmin are the weakest, Flower Pikmin are the strongest, and Buds are the middle of the road. That's all you really need to know about that. They get faster and they're more powerful when they have flowers on their heads, so you ideally do want some Flower Pikmin with you. But nevertheless, I'm going to go all the way over to this Nectar and talk about the Nectar, because in Pikmin 1 and 2, you had to swarm your Pikmin all the way around the Nectar for all of them to get an ounce, otherwise one Pikmin would hog it all up. 
However, you cannot abuse that in this game. Instead, you can charge forward and you can have a couple of Pikmin get flowered. It's a very fair strategy, in my opinion, from Nintendo in order to make the game balanced as much as they could because this game is very easy, in my opinion, but it's nice. It's very nice. So they mitigated the issue of people swarming their Pikmin all the way into the nectar and having all of their pigment flower up at once by just having it be like a maximum of like 10 i think anyways this is a regular bulb orb it is not related in the way that you think to the dwarf bulb orb that we fought it's actually a cousin and they're in the same grub dog family genus uh species family <laughs> of of the um plants and animal hybrids because this game takes place this is a little bit of a lore for you this game takes place 2.5 billion years into the future as far as my memory serves from when i did my initial research which is when plants and animals started merging which is very nice i suspect that nuclear war happened but that's just me anyways we're going to collect all of our pikmin here and we're going to have them spout out more stuff for the onion or collect stuff for the onion sorry yes 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 quarter of the way through the day you will get the sun ringing at you like a bell and you do not want that because <laughs> it's very annoying but it will happen anyway regardless anyway we cannot go over to this electrical gate right now as i will show you right now because when you throw a pikmin on it it will stun the pikmin it will not kill them like it does in pikmin 2 electricity is not hazardous or fatal in the slightest in this game it's just something that stuns your pikmin which is nice actually it means that i don't have to walk across an electrical like fence of some sort and have all of my pikmin just drop dead anyways let's go up here oh no britney's just lying there i hope i'm not too late Pick up, Brittany. Pick up. Please still be alive. Alf? Sorry about that. I was just taking a little nap. So, you're close by? Why wasn't I moving, you ask? Hehe. <laughs> well, you know me. I'm a pretty sound sleeper, even with all these creatures creeping around. But never mind that. Listen, I discovered what looks to be a piece of fruit. It's over there. But I'm kind of stuck here for the time being. Could you go and check it out for me? Yes, we shall, Brittany, as we come across here and find... Wow, it's even bigger than I thought it would be. If this really is fruit, then it's a major discovery. I'd like to analyze it at the drake, but how can I move it? Well, Alf, let me tell you, you have a loyal band of slay I mean minions here, to do your bidding. Let them carry the strawberry all the way over there, and let's continue up here because we cannot proceed any further that way right now. Now, in this cave, we will immediately come across something, so... <laughs> What, what is that thing? This is a Medusa Slurker. It is completely harmless unless you somehow have your Pikmin stuck in there for the longest time. That's all you need to know about it, baby. Excuse me, die! Are these creatures Pikmin 2? They're giving me a funny look. Excuse me, Alpha, we're in Pikmin 3, not Pikmin 2. Excuse me, oh my god. Do they want to break it? I think they do, you know. Let's throw them at the crystal to smash it, demonstrating the rock Pikmin's unique ability, and free their onion. There, that should do the trick. Indeed it should. So... Their onion was trapped inside that crystal. Since I have two types of Pikmin now, I can select the ones I want to use with L and R. 
I am not going to explain that, thank you very much, game. <laughs> I'll use Y to dismiss the squad when I want to split them up by type. Look at me salvaging my sentences. I'm not going to read that out either. Excuse me, game, you're not making a fool out of me twice. Right, six out of six on the Medusal Slurker to get the Medusal Slurker. Oh, look at the look at the Drake interrupting me. Oh, the Drake is sending us a message. Analyzing recovery. Large quantities of pictamin you detected. Sorry, I had a malfunction. My lips were tied. This is a seed-bearing fruit, making cultivation on Kopai possible. Juice from this fruit is safe for consumption by crew members. I'll add a fruit file to the Kopad, where we can store the results of our analysis. Installing, oh no! Thank god this is the last app we have to install. Ooh, fruit file. But since I don't know much about plants, I'll ask Brittany to write the reports. She is the botanist after all. Sorry about the malfunction there for the today. It was having a bad hair day. Anyways, we're going to get one Pikmin on there, and we're going to have another load of them just charged toward this crystal, where we can read this next piece of information out. New sprouts will be the same color as the Pikmin that retrieved the pellet or creature. Now, there's actually a little bit more to this than the game lets on. You have to have a majority of the Pikmin color that you want for the Pikmin to suck up the thing in the onion and to have the onions reproduce in the same color as the uh, Pikmin that you got to assign onto said specific thing. However, if you get a Pikmin that's grey or rock type, uh, for instance, on the grey pellet, you will get more rock Pikmin. And whilst we're here, whilst we pass the 60 Pikmin limit, I can explain the difficulties of this game. So, you have normal mode, which is easy mode in Pikmin 3, uh, where you have less enemies and you have uh, more nectar and you can flower up Pikmin more easily and I believe days are slightly longer as well. Whereas normal mode is the one, or hard mode is the one that we're playing right now, which replicates the Wii U mode of difficulty, which, you know, is faithful to the Wii U. Over um, in ultra spicy mode, however, which is the hardest difficulty, you have a 60 Pikmin limit, and I believe juice is smaller and enemies are more, you know, in quantity in terms of everything. But right now, we're not going to focus on that. If you want to play it uh, through Ultra Spicy, you will have to play through the entire game on hard difficulty first. Brittany! <laughs> Woo! I can't tell you how happy I am to get out of this place. I'm fed up of sleeping rough, and I'm super hungry. Uh, what's with your entourage there? What's that, you say? They're called Pikmin. They're cute. But we don't have time for cuteness right now. Look over there, Alf. Oh my god, it's a giant lemon. It's the Lemon Man from Adventure Time. Let's work together and nap that huge piece of fruit. Indeed. So, this is demonstrating that you can throw captains. That's all you really need to know about it. There you go, Brittany. You have five flowers. I'll take it from here. Press Y and select me, if you'd be so kind. Indeed, I will be so kind. I will not explain that. Split into two squads to manage your workload more effectively. That is true, actually. Right. We're going to throw five Pikmin on here because it requires five Pikmin there. And we're going to go ahead and get this data file. On the Copad's radar, align the diamond with your destination and select Go Here with A to start moving. How strange to find such a data file. Come to think of it, the radar did have a go here function. We should try it out soon. It seems like it'd be helpful if we decide to split into multiple groups. 
Anyways, thank you for that demonstration, Brittany. I appreciate that, Brittany. This enemy is a scutter chuck, and what it will do is it will launch these crystal balls at you. So what you want to do to combat that is immediately kill it and um, go all the way over and collect their corpses. Over here, rocks are not immune to electricity. Their main gimmick is being able to squish crystal or destroy crystal walls and be impervious to being squished by certain enemies that we should hopefully run into actually. Just going to knock that off. We're going to have them all go all the- excuse me, sir. Okay, well, enjoy that pellet then. I'll see you boys later. Here's a strawberry or sunseed berry as the game calls it. I'm going to bash this rock in the face with my rocks. Actually, save that, save that, save that, because I have an idea. I have an idea. We can put our Pikmin onto there. We can put the remainder of our Pikmin that uh, seem to just be swimming there or standing there. We can come all the way over here and just send the rest of our Pikmin to work on this bridge piece. And then once they've worked on the bridge, we can go through here, which is a shortcut back to base, as you see in the little um, mini-map over there. We can see that over there down in the bottom where the drake icon is there's a bridge now established which means that we can go all the way over to the onion which is very helpful actually so one two three four five i think was that five no that was four i'm gonna collect all of my pikmin up there we go and alf i would like you to go all the way over to this cave to get the rock pikmin and we'll see you back at base baby Right, let's get this sunseed berry in the onion, <laughs> and let's do this baby. Let's go all the way over here and break this rock wall or crystal wall, and hopefully get through this area. Obviously, we're not completing this area in one day, that'd be blasphemous of you to assume that I'd be able to do that, but it's nice thoughts for me anyways. Now what could this be? The radar's picking up something. The radar is detecting a signal of some sort. Maybe it's a new type of food. I'd be very concerned if your food was on your radar, ma'am. I'd be very concerned. Let's go and look right away. Well, I don't think we have enough time for that, actually, Brittany. But this is a yellow wally hop. Don't you dare throw the Pikmin in the water. Pikmin cannot swim. <laughs> Pikmin cannot swim, unfortunately. Uh, in this game, unless you have blue Pikmin. We do not have blue Pikmin right now. Sir, sir, I'd appreciate having my Pikmin back. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so embarrassing for me. Anyways, let's just launch. Uh, oh, thank you for drowning. Oh my god, look at him dancing. Oh no, water is lethal to Pikmin. I need to blow the bl whistle with B to call the Pikmin back over here. I agree. Help panicking with Pikmin by using your whistle. I will just let th this Wally Hop needs to let me kill it. The Wally Hops were actually called Wally Wogs, however, due to controversy involving racism in terms of there was a doll called a Gollywog doll that was um, in a lot of regions in the world, I do believe. It's either that or it was, you know, in Australia slash Europe. And basically this doll had uh, the, the, the wog part at the end. And basically, to steer away from the controversy, Nintendo did the right thing in my opinion and renamed it to Wally Hop. That's just me. That's just my opinion. Anyways, this enemy, very shady, very sneaky. This is a Skitterleaf. It will try and snatch up a Pikmin. It is fatal and the Wally Hop will try and squish Pikmin is what I should have said. Right, Alf, I need you, baby, to go all the way over so we can come all the way over here. I want Brittany to come all the way over here and get this data file. I want these Pikmin to defeat these fiery blowhogs, which can make Pikmin burn to death if you're not careful. Like, they'll spit fire and it's very ooh. But anyways, we got another cutscene. Thank you, Brittany. I love you. <laughs> On the opposite shore, there are materials for building a bridge. I bet if Alf and I work together, we can get it done in no time. To ask Alf to join the squad, move the cursor over to him but call him by pressing B. Brittany, I know. Thank you. Oh, here we go. The onion stopped spitting out seeds. But the Pikmin inside the onion seems to still seem to be increasing in numbers. 
Apparently, once the surface population reaches 100, new Pikmin are born inside the onion. This means a maximum of 100 Pikmin can be active outside the onion at any one time. Indeed, there's a limit to the number of Pikmin on the surface at any time, but more can sprout inside the onion. That's right, baby, we can sprout more Pikmin into our lives. I'm gonna have our reds come all the way over here and just pick up these remaining corpses of these uh, fiery blowhogs. There we go, one, two, three, four, five. I think that was five, that might be six. I can't exactly hear when I throw them. Uh, because of the fact that I sit here and talk so much, which is just my life story in general. What I want to do in terms of this uh, day, however, is I want to build that bridge. And I'm going to wait for them to suck that in. There we go. I'm going to wait for them. We have 95 out of our 100 soldiers. Let's go all the way over here and throw a captain over to the other shore. Uh, other side of the shore. It will be sundown before too long. Look at me mixing up and messing up my words. Alf, didn't you mention that nocturnal predators will attack any stray Pikmin? It looks like the Pikmin in the area of the nest thing we call an onion can get back on in their own though. Make sure Pikmin are in your squad or close to the onion when the sun sets. All others will perish. I'd better call back the Pikmin who aren't in my squad before it's too late. But it could be tiring to walk everywhere uh, around everywhere to collect all the Pikmin. So I'll make sure that when you press A near the SS Drake, a whistle will be the sound that will call all Pikmin back to the onion. Indeed. Thank you for explaining that, Brittany. I was about to explain that myself, actually, girl. Thank you for being so helpful. Anyways, if you have stray Pikmin by, the, by this sundown period and you are convinced that you will not be able to reach them in time, you can go ahead, basically go near the SS Drake, and you can press A to call all Pikmin back that are not in your squad back to the Onion. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set uh, the, the Pikmin over here. I'm going to just set them all the way over there. Going to have them all join me. Going to have one of them break open this egg to get nectar. Uh, in a bit. Thank you. Thank you for that. I... I appreciate your, your kindness here, um, Pikmin. What we're going to do over here is we're going to also smash open these eggs. I want to set the rest of the Pikmin up for doing that. Because our rock Pikmin actually need a lot of uh, juice here. I'm going to set the last two there. Thank you. And yeah, you guys are over here. That's fine. I will, I will make sure that I grab all of you i'm going to go over to the opposite side of the shore and i'm going to get all of these pikmin as well and we're all going to collectively go over here so we can start getting that un the, the nectar first so all the way over there thank you i love that <laughs> anyways the signal must be coming from there Indeed, so we're going to break down this wall for tomorrow. Excuse me, sir, slacker Bob. Excuse me. He just... Uh, I'm upset about that. You slacker, get back here. No, 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 all of you get back here. We're not going to go there right now because as you can see, the 10, di the 10 second countdown is upon us. Any Pikmin after the number reaches zero that are not inside the Onion's radius or within our squad will perish so make sure you have all your flowers in one basket so to speak and make sure that they're all over here two one it's so slow zero
Wow, they merged. Well, well, so two onions can combine into one. Very interesting, I'll have to make a note of this. Different coloured onions can fuse to become a single onion. Let's analyse the other fruit too. The lemon is called a face wrinkler and it can provide us with one and a half days provisions of edible stuff. That's the word. That is the word. <laughs> As you can see there, it's one and a half. The sunseed berry provides us with one whole juice canister of days provisions. So we're going to squeeze that and we have reached five, soon to be four actually, but we've reached five days worth of edible provisions. I'll ration out the food supply. Alf can make do with a slightly smaller portion. <laughs> This is great! We actually have a little bit of a juice buffer. Day 2's report. Look at how much progress we made, girl. Look at that! Three fruits already! And we got Rock Pikmin as well. We got Brittany. We got the Rock Onion. And we have four days worth of edible provisions. Double what we had uh, when we started the day, actually. Day 2. We discovered a mysterious broadcast signal. What on Kopai could it be? It might be our captain, but something tells me that it could be related to that person who's been leaving all of those data files for us. I'll have to find out tomorrow. The suspense is killing me! Alf! See you guys tomorrow.